we pawns have long awaited your arrival. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. Emerging suddenly from the sea, we meet the giant Talos, who appears for the first time in this game, and who you will have to figure out how to stop. We've prepared some additional gameplay footage of Talos, so take a look. I cannot but fear it will bring ruin wherever it treads. We shall halt it together. It seems to me there are plenty of places our feet might find purchase on its hulking frame. Let us do whatever we can to slow it down. It might prove futile, but it is better than watching on in despair. A puppet with a penchant for destruction is a nuisance nobody asked for. Let us be rid of it. Indeed. And where is it bound, I wonder? Left unhindered, it will trample the world entire, but not on our watch. Let us attack with the full sum of our strength. We must try to delay its course by any means! As you can see, you'll be able to enjoy a variety of combat experiences depending on how you choose to tackle each situation. Keep your eyes peeled for more on Talos and its role. Dragon's Dogma is a tale of the Arisen, whose heart is taken by the dragon. While this sequel mirrors the world setting of the first game, the adventure takes place in a parallel world. Vermin is the human kingdom, where you will be drawn into the power struggle for the throne. To have her son take the throne, the Queen Regent Disa plots to set a false arisen. But why are pawns serving a false arisen? On the other hand, the Bistran nation of Batal treats pawns as the source of misfortune and instead worship the lambent flame to ward off calamity with Empress Nadinia at its center. Both kingdoms recognize the dragon as a threat. But their thoughts towards Pons and the Arisen differ. What will happen to the player, caught between the beliefs and plots of these two nations? You can learn more about some of the game's intriguing characters on our official website. So, check it out. In addition to the main quest line, you can talk to the inhabitants of this world to receive various quests and deepen your relationship with them. For instance, let's look at this quest where you need to befriend some elven siblings. Ah, forgive me. You do not speak our tongue, do you? From this moment forth, so long as you remain by my side, I shall interpret for you. Nenwen mor Iwanon, Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karil, martir fa nun fionor, minas vena eralote. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, tis now. I beg of you to join me in my sister's rescue. Master, watch out! This battle is ours! 
it is even more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. My father battles the ogre while my sister is clutched in his fist. But there is still hope if I act quickly. Listen well, friend. I shall strike the beast's arm while my father holds its attention. This is as much as I can show you for today. Hopefully, you'll find the rest of the quest on your own. In the footage, you can see the Sacred Arbor, which is an elf settlement. The elves there communicate in their own language. And while the Arisen doesn't understand the language of the elves, if there's a pawn nearby who does, they will automatically translate it for you. These specializations that pawns can acquire will make each of them more unique and hopefully more enjoyable to journey with. I'll see to it your burdens are shared between us pawns. It's not only the pawn's personality that reflects the player. Just like in the first game, the player can freely create the arisen and the main pawn. However, we've used photogrammetry technology to increase photorealism, while adding a way to simplify the process of creating characters. Selecting images that resemble the kind of look you have in mind provides a more intuitive way to create your ideal character. Now, I want to introduce the Trickster, a new vocation that's sure to bring something unique to your gameplay experience. Exclusive to the Arisen, the Trickster is a vocation that wields the sensor and uses the smoke it produces to conjure illusions. By confusing the enemy into fighting themselves through illusions, or increasing the power of pawns beyond the normal parameters for a limited period of time, this vocation focuses on support and use of unique strategies. The Trickster is a devious vocation that takes advantage of the enemy's enhanced behavior AI. It's a great fit for players who prefer to step back from the action and manipulate the battle from the sidelines.
Bukit.
If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here? When t'was all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. Pitiable Arisen. Why dost thou fight?